In this video, we're going to answer one of the viewers' question, and this was the following question. How to make a vertical gradient fill for the line chart in Chart.js? Alright, so this is a very good question. I covered a video, or at least a series, regarding to gradient, but I haven't covered this so far. So this is a very uh, valid question. And the question was asked here, if you go to one of my videos, here it was covering uh, specifically another viewer question. It was quite interesting, but it's a very challenging one about how to display a legend box X value and Y value and the labels in Chart.js. However, if I scroll down here, you can see here, this is the question that Gadget Meta asked me. It was the following. Is, is there any way to make a gradient fill line chart in Chart.js? And specifically here, probably targeting the vertical gradient fill in Chart.js. So first of all, thank you to Gadget Meta for asking that question. And yes, let's start to explore how to do this. All right, so we have here this. I have here a default setting of Chart.js and it's very straightforward to get this one. If you wonder how, please check some of my other videos where I cover that consistently, but I thought now it's not needed anymore to cover. All right, so what I'm going to do here is first, I'm going to convert this into a quick line chart. So to do this, we make here line. So we have here the line as type, so we created that one. The next one I want to do is I want to move, remove the background colors because we want to work only with one color eventually. Of course, it will be a gradient color, but the value itself is considered a single color. So we have this here, all right, we grab this one and we're going to remove all of this, including these brackets here. And the reason why these brackets indicate that this is an array, so remove those. Next, I want to uh, delete this border width. I'm going to put another item here, or if I save this right now, you will see we have this. All right, but I want to add up two more things. First of all, I like to make this more elastic because I don't like this uh, very high tension or straight lines. It's not that nice. So we say here tension 0.4 comma, and then we put in here the following, which is the fill, because the background color, as you can see, while we have them here in those point uh, radius items, and like here, but we want to have a background color here as well. So we're going to put in here fill. And this fill in line chart is always set on false. So we're going to set it on true. The moment you set this on true and refresh, we can see now we have this nice curved uh, what is that line line for the chart. And of course, a nice background color. All right. So now we have this because this will now give us a uh, starting point to work on the most important part, which is the gradient. If I'm going to do gradient, I must do this below this specific command. And the reason why is I will need this eventually, because this is very important. And this is being assigned here, and then we have to grab this one. All right. To do this, we're going to create a constant. And this constant will get the name, any name you want. And I, in my case, I will use just, I will say here, gradient BG. And I will give it a capital B, just to give this a, a camel case. Uh, naming convention so you can use anything as well whatever you want but JavaScript this is quite common all right so now what I want to do is and this is why we are here below I need to get the CTX because why are we going to get this because we need pinpointing a specific chart and also and as well the context or basically the canvas because what we're using here is a command only designed in a canvas tag so this is why we're drawing this here so we're going to do this one here. And then we say the following. We say here, um, uh, let me think, this is create linear with capital I, or capital L, linear gradient. And in here we have four parameters we need to work with. So I'm going to give this for zero, zero, zero comma, and zero. All right, these are four. Let me explain these four so you will understand these very uh, clearly and it will help you as well understanding in the future. All right, so what is the first value? So the first value is an X0. X0 stands for starting point of the gradient, basically, because we are going to create a linear gradient. Starting point of the gradient in the canvas. Starting point, and an X means horizontal. Yes, yeah, so horizontal. So this would mean usually left, all right? And if you put in zero, it would mean zero here, basically. Somewhere here we will start. And if you would put this, for example, 100, it will start, the color adjustment starts at 100. Somewhere here, where, what 
ever the 100 would be in pixels. Remember, these values are set in pixels. There is a way to soft code. I'm still working on it to make this eventually soft coded. But for now, this is the hard coded solution until I find the specific part in Chart.js. It covers a certain part, but it's not clear. It doesn't really specify how to do it, but I'm very close to it. So soon I might have this soft code and it will be all automated automated as well. All right, next one, y0. And y0 is the starting point, and you guessed it already, it's for of the gradient, but then uh, vertical, vertical, vertical. And then here, starting point is by default, zero is set on top here, zero. And here, this also indicates the transitioning the moment we start to input these values here. So what does, what does this mean? Here would be, uh, x1 and x1 equals the ending point as you guess so you have a starting point and an ending point and this ending point uh, horizontal horizontal all right so this is always somewhere in the right side yeah so if this would be zero then here you could do here 100 that would mean from zero to 100 the transition of the color will will be Activated and fully completed. All right, so that's the unique gradient effect, and that would mean that anything onwards would be the same color as the final settings of the gradient. And I will show you later exactly what I'm talking about because if you see it, you will understand more clearly. All right, so then this one here means the y value, meaning the ending point of the vertical, ending point of the vertical. And this would always be somewhere below the bottom of the canvas. So that would be from top to down and left to right. So if you want to make a horizontal linear effect, you're not going to work with the Y values. So you keep the Y on zero because you don't want to have any adjustments there. All you want is these adjustments here on the X. But in our case, we want vertical, meaning that this one must be zero. And we're going to put in these here. So what we need to know is first the transition, and we want to have the full transition effect here. But we need to know then what is the uh, vertical value of this. So we need to know the vertical length of our canvas. To do this, we get the inspector here. We click on this. You can see here our canvas. You can see here the value, and you can see it here down as well. You see here 800 by 400. So a height is 400 pixels, width is 800 pixels. All right. This is what we need to know. And basically this one here, the 400 is the value we're going to work with. So we get all the information now. So we say here, starting point will be zero and the gradient will be, will be in effect from zero to 400. All right. So once we have this, we're almost done here. The next part is of course, to get this, we get this constant here. And then we're going to assign the colors that we want to have in the gradient effect. Because so far we only say, we want a gradient, but uh, the canvas doesn't understand which color we still want to uh, act on it. So we say here, we get this constant, and then we say dot um, add color stop. Pay attention to the capitalized C and capitalized S. And in here, we have two parameters as well. The first one will indicate the transition in percentage. And the other one will indicate, so let's say here in zero, so we, this is zero to one, and I will explain it as well. And the other one is the color. So let's say here we were going to use a line. So what we really want to do is the following. Let me explain. First of all, we're zero and one. Why? This means the transition, how fast will something transition from one color to another? So if you have this, and I will show you later on, uh, you can put in here 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 would mean that it will be after 50% and 50% I'm talking about 50% of this value here so after 200 pixels it will go from up here starts lime and let's say we want to have black color here so uh, if we would do another one color and we want 50% black we have to put in here the value here so we start with lime so let's copy this I'm going to add up here another one because it will be more more clear once you see it all right so we're going to say here, uh, let's make this green. So it's first a dark green, and then finally, we will have a black transitioning. All right, we say here, black. So what will happen here eventually, I'm going to remove this. You can see here, what we need to do here, we say halfway through, we want to have that from line, we want to convert it to green. So 
50% mean, meaning around 200 pixels, we will have a green color. And then after at one, meaning 100%, at the very end, it becomes solid black. And here's a gradual transition from green to black. So basically, lime, green, halfway through, and then the next part here will be black. All right. If we save this, we're not done yet. Why? We need to assign the color. So I'm going to copy this, and then we can select here this part here. We're going to remove the value here and insert our new constant. Save this. Refresh. And now you can see we have this nice transitioning effect here, starting at the very top with lime and then going down here, darker, darker to dark green, and eventually black. And what you can do is if you see the points here, if they will be higher, they will also increase in color. So let's put in here something else. Let's put in here another one, 15. If I save this, you can see now we have two peaks here, and this peak is lighter green because of the transitioning effect here. And of course, you could do all kinds of options, and maybe you want to have something else. So let's get the original color here of, the, of this. We can get this one here, because we can put in this as well. Let's get this here, and this. We could do just only this, and if we do like that and refresh, you can see we start here and then squarely adjust itself. So what would happen then if we would change this here? So let me show you. If I say here 0 0.2, so there's a transition from only 20% basically. So if I refresh, you can see a 20% here, it starts here somewhere above. It doesn't start here exactly because this part here is also considered a part of the canvas. So you can see it starts here somewhere and then it immediately transitions directly into this. What we could do as well, let's say here 0 0.5, and we also say here 0 0.5. But then we have a direct transition from one to another. So if I refresh, you can see here now we have this very sharp edge here, creating a direct adjustment here. And if we could even do here maybe a transparent, transparent, uh, if I save that. You get this transparent, but if you would do a gradual transparency effect, I think the nicest one would be from up to down. So let's convert these. Let's say transparent. If we save this, but we put this on zero, save that. And you get this effect here that might be more appropriate, or maybe other way around, depends on what you want. But with this, you create this vertical or sorry horizontal effect of course with this and if you would change this let's say here if you would do this only halfway we will only have a adjustment of 200 pixels that would be creating this effect if i refresh here you can see here now halfway through around 200 pixels it becomes a solid color and from there on it's just straight on the same color what we said at the very end of the gradient so with this you create a vertical created effect on your line chart. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.